Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my 2019 Plum Paper Planner Overview. I went with the ME Weekly version um, and I did opt for the neutral color scheme. So in the beginning of the planner you are going to have the entire year laid out from January to December. And then you're going to move into a section where you can fill pretty much anything in that you want. Uh, it's for important dates from January to December as well. Turning the page, the next section that you have is a place for ideas, plans, and goals. Um, there are no dates on this for months, so you can really use this in any way that you choose. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to use it yet, but I'll give you guys an update once I figured it out. So now we're going to move into the monthly spread. I have used this planner before, and one thing that I really like is the versatility of this planner. So it starts with the month, gives you sections for three different goals, birthdays, events, and things to remember. Now this is the monthly view. Of course, you do have a sidebar on the left, and you can customize that when you purchase this planner, or you can leave it blank like I did. Now we're going to move into the weekly spread. One thing I noticed new for 2019 for Plum Paper Planner, they may have done this in 2018, but it's been a few years since I've purchased one, is on the weekly view they have grayed out the previous month. I think that this is really helpful and it makes it a little bit easier for you to plan things because sometimes you do want to start out on a fresh week. So what I'm going to do is go over the sections. Of course, all of these are customizable that I chose. Um, and I spent a couple of days on this. I put in what I wanted and then I went back and looked at it again. So for the first section on the top, next to the February calendar, I put events. And what I'm going to put here are things like IEP meetings that I have, appointments that I have, trainings that I have, birthdays, anything that is going to signify something important that I have scheduled for that day. The next section that I did was teaching and this way I can write down anything that I need to get done for my curriculum, for the classroom, or any data that I need to collect. The next box I chose to leave blank just in case I needed more room for teaching. After the blank box I decided to uh, make the next one a home tab and what I'm going to do is just write in any things that I need to get done at home. The next section that I chose was errands and of course that is any place that I need to go. Um, the bottom two boxes I decided to leave blank. I'm either going to use those for like my daily Bible readings, exercise, or pretty much anything else. Um, that is the great thing with this planner is that you can fully customize it. On the left sidebar, I did uh, change one of the grayed out sections to shopping. That's going to be anything that I need to pick up at the store or anything I need to order online. Below the shopping tab, I chose to write in the word verse, and I'm going to try to pick a weekly verse that I can focus on each day. So that is going to be how I customized this planner. Um, as you can tell with the neutral color scheme, you can really change this to whichever way you want and since I do love to use stickers and markers, pens and highlighters, I thought that the neutral scheme would work the best for me. Like I said, this is the second time that I have purchased a plum, plum paper planner. Um, they're really one of my favorite companies and one of my favorite planners ever. If you have any questions for me, please, please leave them um, in the comment section down below. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.